Hello people and welcome to this video in which I'll be showing you how to get Windows 8 theme on Windows 7. Now this theme has Windows 8 styles like close buttons, the buttons in the selection boxes, even the decision buttons are customized like Windows 8 ones like these. Also the best part you have Metro style UI which is called the mosaic which looks really beautiful. Now, now, right here I have my old Windows 7 style open with no theme supplied and nothing. So, we'll get started. First of all, you're gonna download three files. The first one is the theme file called the Windows 8 Metro Mod Mosaic Project all the links will be in the description and the next and the last thing you want to download is Windows 7 Start or Changer that's all you need to make your Windows 7 look like Windows 8 now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and extract the files from Windows 8 Metro Mod you'll get all of these files now the next thing you want to do, you just want to head over to your computer, go to local to C, Windows, Resources, and under Themes you want to copy all your files there. Now Windows 8 Metro Mod, if you want you can copy Windows 8 Metro Classic too, and now paste all those files in there. Uh, I already had those so it's asking me, I'll override those, and now to apply the theme, Double click Aero 8 Metro Mod, not Metro Mod Classic Glass. Just double click Metro 8 Mod to apply the theme. And wait for a few seconds till the theme is applied. Now, right here, I have the theme applied. It looks beautiful now. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is you want into the Start or folder, Build Start, you want to copy the BMP file outside. Now, delete all those files, they are not required. Okay, even the preview. Alright, now, go ahead and open WSBC RAR file and extract everything inside it to your desktop or wherever you want. Now, under WS7BC, just copy the build start file and paste it in any folder or wherever you want. Now, right click on Windows 7 Startup Changer and run as administrator. Remember, run as administrator, now click select and change start button. And select the build start and click OK. This will change your start button. Right below, it will take a few seconds. Now right here, I have the button changed. Ok, now, the next and final thing you want to do is you want to Install Mosaic. Extract all the files. Okay, now I have a desktop. I want to organize it. So, uh, what I'll just do is I'll just create a new folder called Mosaic and move everything from here inside it. So, let me just move them inside it. And paste all the files inside the folder. Now, double click the mosaic icon to start mosaic. It will take like a few seconds to load depending on your processor's speed. It doesn't take a much RAM or something like that. You don't have to worry about that. And once it's started, you're going to see this screen. It looks really nice. Now, you can scroll by clicking and dragging a mouse. Go to options to change your background. You're going to go to options, go to UI on background image, click change, and slide whatever wallpaper you want. Everything should work here. Click on the one you want and hit open. Now click OK in the bottom corner and you'll have your wallpaper applied. It's cool. The background will scroll in a few seconds after it takes a few time. Now go into uh, sorry, go into Mosaic Store and you'll have student apps or widgets there go and click on desktop click install the 
which will be an easy way to toggle between your reps on desktop. Now click add and you'll see the desktop icon there. You can place the widgets anywhere you want, click on it and it will bring you to the desktop. That's it, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe, goodbye.